This is my RFID crate. Let's learn about Topaz. Paper cranes remind me of the underground subways in Shinjuku. Occasionally I'd stumble upon people who would offer to teach me how to fold origami cranes. At first I thought they were homeless and wanted some money. I found out that all they wanted was my time. They wanted me to pause and fold a crane in silence. The concept was simple, elegant, and effective. I was to donate a moment of my busy life to fold a crane in the honor of the victims of atomic warfare. It was part of a thousand paper crane prayer for peace. It was a memory of Sadako Sasaki, leukemia in Hiroshima, Japan. We are now folding RFID cranes. They are a gift from my mom to her grandchildren. We are taking a step off the fast track. We have reserved a moment in time to learn, to reflect, and share experiences from the past. Personal memories are vestigial footprints in the sand. Our beach was Topaz, Utah. This method is strictly personal for your intimate family. I mean, more or less, unless there's another way of dispersing the information. No, because, because it's a social network, then you can tie in many, many different uh, personal experiences. And that's what becomes the quilt in the HIV AIDS case, or in this one would be the thousand paper cranes. Mm -hmm. Grandparent, yeah. parent, to grandchildren. Yeah. Now, but how, how do you get this system to, to uh, expand, to include other people? That's the. Question. Well, that, that's the difference between, let's say, in Japan, you know, whatever, twenty years ago, and now is that we have the internet. The time of the internment, the crane would be the last thing we would have wanted, to to fold symbol, for me to start talking about the evacuation. And this Why do you call it evacuation? It should be internment. Okay, internment, yeah. okay. But we were evacuated mainly because we were of this heritage, Japanese heritage, all right? And not only mm -hmm. that, this is a symbol for children, and I was a child. Mm -hmm. And so this has a very potent meaning in relationship to the internment process. Coming to the uh, last stages of my life, there's certain things mm -hmm. I would like to emphasize to the kids, mm -hmm. the generation, mm -hmm. but not, not necessarily have anything to do with the camp. The thing is, is that by recording, I think, personal history, it, it gets them more involved. And it's not that it has to be so accurate, it's just that it gets them involved so they start thinking. And it's a thinking process that then lets them go in and do some research. They, they have no idea how powerful the government could be. Um, and, and so they can believe, they have their own set of beliefs, but if you really overnight can find out that the government can just take everything that you possibly have away, then it kind of changes your view of life. Right? Right. 